Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new home video. So today we are doing, we are doing a room transformation. I have been waiting to do this video for so, so long and Finally, we're here. So I'm gonna be making over the spare bedroom today. This has been a to-do list item for me since we moved into this house last year. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Amy. I bought my dream home, which is a new build, last year around February time. And it is now obviously July, um, end of July and the spare bedroom has still not been done. If you are interested in my house moving journey and all of that, I did vlog the entire experience as well as I have my own Instagram page for my home which is Bella Bambina Home, so if you like any of my interior style, definitely head over there and give it a follow for more inspiration and to shop any of the little bits in my home. But back to today's video, I am going to show you guys the state of this spare room. It has become a dumping ground, it is I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fine. Because we live in a new build, obviously everything is very fresh and clean anyway, so it's new carpets, freshly painted white walls, um, and all of that. But we just kind of just dumped our bed in there, like our spare bed we had, and any spare furniture I used to have from my old room. But anyway, it's time has come that the spare room is now going to be done, and I'm so excited to say that I am working with none other than Awesome, again on this video, awesome.com or .co.uk if you're based like me in the UK. Awesome is a incredible online home and garden website. It literally sells anything and everything you could possibly want. If you've watched my garden transformation videos, which if you haven't, honestly, you need to do it. We still got time in summer. If you want to transform your garden and see, you know, get some new bits or some garden bits, you need to go and see that video. But Awesome made that possible and today they are making this possible and I'm going to be showcasing some really versatile bits that you can get from your home. So I've got an item for the family bathroom, so the spare bathroom. I've got a couple of items for the spare bedroom. And then I've got a couple of other items that's for our home gym and also for the kitchen. Like honestly, this website has got a little bit of everything you could possibly want. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you the spare room. Please don't judge me, it is bad, but it's all good. We're gonna transform it today and it's gonna be history. Also, sorry, it's extremely hot here in the UK today. We've just had a heat wave. So I've got all the windows open and everything. So hopefully we're all, all right, but let's go see that spare room. Don't judge me, please. So if you haven't seen any of my videos before, this is my landing. And then over here, is the guest bathroom and the guest bedroom. So this is just a little overview of the bathroom. It's basically Jerry's bathroom. We never ever use this bathroom. I've never showered in there. I've had one bath, I think, since I've moved in, but I'm just not a bath person, especially in summer. I've also got no storage whatsoever in here, as you can see. It's very echoey as well, I apologize. I've literally just got this tiny little unit that we got from Ikea and we massively, overfill this so that definitely needs to be sorted out which is what we're going to do today and then next to it this is the spare room um yeah so as you can see we've got an ottoman bed here i've got this is not a bedside table but i've been using it as a bedside table i had this in my like family bedroom when i was up back at my mum and dad's as my bedside table chest of drawers there again ikea ones i'm probably not going to keep these in here but We'll kind of see how it transpires. We've then got the very exciting deliveries from Awesome over here, so I need to pull those out. And then obviously we've got more space. And then I've also picked up a couple of items, including this one right here, that I'm hoping will look nice in this room. I've got a chair here as well. Again, this was meant to go ages ago, but it just ended up getting dumped in here. Brand new Pampas and a vase. That vase I got for my birthday, I'll show you more about that later. And then I'm not gonna probably be able to get this all in frame, but we do have our Ikea packs wardrobes. I love these wardrobes so much and they are such a beautiful um, like color and I love the paneling on them. They're really really beautiful. So I've been gonna I'm gonna try and play on this color. It's almost like a beige but sage green. So I'm gonna go for grays and sage greens in here. I want it to be super luxe cottage cozy vibes like that's what I'm going for. So this is the basis of it. I'm gonna start by pulling literally everything out apart from the bed because I just find it a lot easier to do that. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. 
I am absolutely dripping and it has been a matter of minutes. But I've emptied the room and I really hope Andy doesn't come out of his office because he's gonna absolutely freak. It is all through my beauty room. It's all here, it's all there, and it's all in the bathroom. So, ta-da! It actually shows what a big room this is. Obviously, the wardrobes are staying there. We actually bought them because this is just a standard ikea wardrobe but how awesome is it that they literally look like they're built in because this is a wall here as you can see this is just a wall that makes space for the bathroom in there but i'm not joking when i say that this completely flushes um so that's really good we have got a bit of a dumping ground going on along up top so that will be changed also i'm going to get some storage bins or i'm thinking of maybe popping to ikea and getting a couple more of like these because that would actually be quite nice sat up there because it would I think actually it would fit probably two perfectly we do use it for storage of suitcases but I can actually probably put the suitcases in there and sorted so as you can see the room is really big I am very excited to crack on with this the only thing that's very annoying is that as you can tell from the whole house it's very neutral I don't like dark colors, but yet we have this bed. This bed is actually Andy's from when we both obviously moved in from our own places to a house together. We just used his bed as the spare bedroom bed because my bed is the master bedroom bed. The plan is to replace the master bedroom bed and then just use my old bed frame to go in here because the reality of people staying over is, you know, a handful of times a year. So the bed doesn't need to be amazingly beautiful fantastic i love my bed in there it's it's just a nice gray color very very minimal bed frame and it's an ottoman as well because i honestly could not i i will never buy a bed again that is not an ottoman so until we replace that bed which i have got big plans for that bed if you guys have been following the vlogs for a long time i literally want a fabric head board like a paneled wall fabric headboard and if you are into your interior you would know that those cost a small fortune we're speaking thousands and thousands of pounds for this bed frame and custom made essentially headboard that goes all on the wall of your bedroom i want to make that happen so obviously that's not something that happens overnight we are not financing people we will not go and borrow money that we don't have for things like that so i'm going to um work out the best way to be able to do it on the best money as well to get exactly what i want and we're just going to work hard and we're going to save up until we get that so until we get that and then that bed moves in here that goes with all my light colors and light gray vibes we are stuck with this so i'm going to give the carpet a good vacuum not that many people come in here but obviously you've got all these lines and stuff but the plan of action now is we want to turn this bed 180 so we want the headboard against this wall gonna be a big job might need to get andy's help but let's do it Turn the bed round. Wish us luck. And we did it. <laughs> that is such a kerfuffle in such a small room, but finally we did it. And I need to give that side now all a nice big hoover. It's really annoying because this, as you can see from the wall, sorry, this ottoman doesn't go down. That's why it's up. Like it doesn't go down unless there's a mattress on it and weight. As you can see though, on this side, this is where the house has been designed to have the bed on that side. But it's just not physically possible when you've got the wardrobes here because that means I wouldn't be able to have a bedside cabinet without the wardrobes not being able to open. So that's why I decided to move it around this way. The bedside cabinets I've also got are amazing for space saving. So I've actually gone out and bought like an extension lead so I can plug in a light bulb and have it like have a plug over this side because we're going to have equal lamps on the sides as well. But yes, we managed to turn it around. So now. After the vacuuming, the fun begins. So these are the bed 
bedside tables that I picked up. How cute are these? And they're so, so affordable, guys. So affordable and what a great space-saving bedside table. But that is what it's looking like. I think it is so beautiful and it is the most lovely mellow grey. I've just noticed this one's broken, which is really annoying because that was a really nice fluffy one. But I'm going to put this in the corner. This vase as well I will link down below. My nan got it for me for my birthday and it's off this beautiful interior website that I literally want everything off of. So... Yeah, it just is the most perfect pampas vase. But obviously this pampas is very tight at the moment. I need to get the hair dryer on it and a bit of sun and it should be extra fluffy. I might also grab a couple more stems when I'm in the range next. Here is the room. I'm going to give you a little bit of a room tour, just a quick one, nothing too in depth, but this is what the bed is looking like and how much better does it look having it this way round? Do you see what I was trying to say about the bedside tables, like having a lot more room? Because imagine if this setup was flipped the way it was meant to be, like literally the bedside table would be coming out to about like there. So you just wouldn't be able to open the wardrobe, it's not functional. It is very frustrating having the plugs, but I just feel like they did not think when they were making this house and designing it, because it really always should have been that side, because you just do have a lot more length that way. Anyway, I love the bedside tables. I also found these little baskets underneath that are from Poundland, so they were just £3 a piece, but they fit perfectly. So you could put whatever you like in there. I might get some more like linen and things I think would look nice in there. You've got a really nice little bit of storage in there, which at the moment I've got nothing in. I just might, I might put like the pillow mist and stuff. We then have the bed, and then I did just chuck this blanket over. It just takes away a little bit of, you know, to the eye, too much of the dark colours. So I did that and I thought that looks okay for now. As I said, this is a temporary situation. This is just some nice bed linen I had left over. We got a nice bedspread here. This is from Denelm. I did a little cute, like, basket, which is like a little um, guest basket. It's got like a little Neptune home directory. We got a couple of fresh towels and then all of the Bath and Body Works aromatherapy sleep line. I just thought that looked really nice out there. I got these lamps, which you guys would have seen before. They were available before in Aldi on the special buys. You can sometimes find them in there still, but I, they've changed up the design since, I think. We've also got this Be Our Guest sign, which this is from The Range. I just thought, again, that that colour, it doesn't look like it on camera, but that colour actually goes really well with this. I'm also feeling like I want to get some, um, I need to pop to Ikea, I want to get some, like, fake plants, like the hanging plants for here. Just got like a little dream catcher there and then I did decide to keep the chest of drawers so put the chest of drawers in the middle I folded back that mirror just kind of made a little bit of a setup I've got these white company boxes with storage in them I put the little Buddha on top the little seat there and of course my pampas so yeah overall I am so happy with this room now let's move on to the bathroom you better follow through, oh yeah When you tell me that you want me This ain't nothing new This ain't out the blue Don't like the way you're switching up You'd rather be up in the club If it's not me, there ain't no stuff oh. And finally 
finally the cabinet is up how perfect is it in this space honestly look at that like right to the t absolutely perfect you can open the door all the way back and it's all hidden behind the corner and it is a incredible amount of storage but what I loved about this as well is that you've got like these two like cubbies so I'm very much like I like displaying things so I thought that would be beautiful and then obviously you've got the two main compartments which are here and here um, and it's just a absolute ton of storage. They do loads of different designs. I was honestly torn of which one to get, but I thought that this one went really well with my bathroom. So I will leave this link down below, obviously along with the bedside tables you've seen with the room transition. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna style it up now. And one of the things I picked up, I'm also gonna do the whole bathroom, voila. I picked up this adorable little basket from the charity shop the other day. It was literally only, two pounds and it fits like it was made to go there so I'm probably gonna style that up with some maybe like I don't know some flannels or something and that could look really cute or you could put bath bombs in there and scent it all up so I'm gonna have a little tidy up and reorganize this cupboard because actually I keep in here it's annoyed me for so long in our airing cupboard I keep this tub and that's basically just full, like absolutely full to the brim of backup products. Because obviously you need to have like an extra shampoo, like shaving foam, body wash, face wash. Like we need all of that like as at least one backup. So it's really frustrating being in there because it's like on the floor, it's just a pain in the bum. So I'm going to have a really good organization system over here. Find me somewhere as well to put excess loo rolls. Do I need to sell storage to you guys? Absolutely not. But the fact that it fits so perfectly in there i'm so happy about it. so i'm gonna fill this up now and i'll show you all the bathroom when i am done so the airing cupboard is finally no more box this is now what the bathroom is looking like excuse the extractor fan and the echoiness obviously it's just what it is with it being tile but i've just done a really simple setup i've got a candle here from aldi i've got my little um buddha candles there we've got some crystals my bath and body works aromatherapy eucalyptus spearmint foaming hand wash that was a mouthful and then we've got just like the bath mat and everything set up here. This bath tray is from uh, b and I think that one was, but you can pick these up pretty much anywhere now. I've also got this little side shelf here, which I think goes really well. I love the white wood. Again, that's from B&M. And I've just put like little soap and things on there. But the star of the show is this beautiful tall, tall boy cabinet. So this is what I've ended up doing. I ended up styling it up with some Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy, the stress relief line. We've got a little hand cream, we've got a body cream, and then we've got the body wash in there. And then I pulled out of my beauty room this jar, which you've seen me, I've got a ton of these in the house. I get this from Home Bargains, they're only 6 dollars And I filled it up with bath salts, and I thought that that looked really elegant. I really like that. I may even just swap that out and get one more, because I've actually got Himalayan pink salt here. I like bathing with salt, so I might do a... Himalayan bath salt one as well or nah, unfortunately I can't fit two in there but yeah that's what that's looking like and then this top section is where all the products are so obviously it doesn't have to be pretty but it is functional so this is my shelf here of all my backup products and this is Andy's so it's really good for him because he I do all the shopping so he doesn't actually know what products he's got backed up so I said whenever you run out of anything just go in that one cubby have a look if it's not there let me know and you won't have any but if it's if it's there then you've got it and then at the bottom here i have actually readjusted the shelf so that's what's really great as well about this is as you can see there's here and then there's two sets of holes and it's really easy to readjust the shelf to what height you want so i've just got like a little hair dye and a little pampering section here with some foot masks and then the bottom here is cleaning products jerry shampoo and obviously some excess toilet paper and it just fits absolutely perfect it's a little magnetic closure and it looks fabulous i couldn't be happier 
Okay, so now that we've done the spare bedroom, I thought that we could just carry on this as a little bit of a vlog because I also got a couple more amazing bits from Awesome. There's always little bits and bobs in this house that I feel like I need. Well, actually, these are not so little things. But you know how it is. When you've got a household, you're like, you're cooking, you're obviously in your bedroom, you've got an office, you've got different areas of the house. And I constantly find myself needing something for that area. So this is why I love Awesome, because literally they are a home website. They've got everything for home and garden. So I did get a couple of extra deliveries that are beyond the bedroom that we did, the guest bedroom. And one of them is right over here. So as you'll know, if you watch my like home bargains and B&M videos, I love baking, like home baking. It's just something I love to have fun with and buy bits and bobs and all of that. So one thing that I've been on the lookout for recently is a electric mixer because I've only got a handheld one and it's just quite honestly a little bit of a faff. I haven't really got a big enough bowl as well to mix stuff in. So I've been on the lookout for a proper standing mixer. Of course I need mine to be white because I, you know me. And awesome did it so we're about to unbox the mixer that i picked up i am so excited to see this because i'm just about to bake a cake for our friends because she's just had a baby girl and i'm so excited look at this cute little cake topper that i got it is absolutely adorable it's pink neat like fuchsia glitter this is baby girl i've got some like macaroons i've got some pink glitter so i can have real fun making this cake but now it's going to be so much easier because i've got a hard standing mixer so here is the mixer. I absolutely love the aesthetic of this. It is so beautiful. It's a really good size as well. It's like big, but quite compact. So this is how it pops up. It's super easy as you can see. You do get the flower splash guard. You get this lovely massive whisk and then you do get more heads on it as well. You get the dough hook and you also get this other mixer as well. And then we've also got this little um, funnel as well, which goes on top there. So if you're pouring in like liquids or anything, or again, it's just sort of a spill catcher. Then you've got the super big bowl and I love how it's all silver finishes. This is obviously the speed settings here. It's really simple. But yeah, it looks like a great bit of kit. I'm so excited right now to make a cake with this. What's good to note is as well, it obviously locks the bowl in like that. And also underneath, I don't know if you can see that just there, there is suction cups on the bottom. So this is actually really good if you've got a bit of aggressive mixing going on or whatever, it's not going to be shuffling around or you've got no risk of it sort of getting caught or going anywhere it shouldn't do. So I am very glad to finally have a proper mixer in my kitchen and I am very much looking forward to now making this cake. It's gonna be interesting because I'm making a egg-free cake because my friend's daughter can't eat egg. So I'm going to attempt to make an egg-free cake. Um, it seems like it should be easy enough, but fingers crossed. Okay, so I've made the three layers of cakes. They're all done. It has been great using this, honestly, game changer. I've just attached the whisk attachment as well. I'm gonna make my buttercream frosting and then we're gonna construct it and I'm really looking forward to how it's gonna look. And ta-da! It looks so cute. I love that. Obviously, I'm not a professional, but it's good enough. It's a nice bit of home baking. And how pretty is that baby girl sign? Oh, the doorbell just went. Let's see who that was. Okay, so this has just arrived and it's my spin bike. Let's put it together. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Here is my new spin bike from Awesome. I am absolutely obsessed with this the quality i mean like it is solid it is absolutely like solid so this is the bike here from homcom it's an indoor exercise bike and it is an 18 kg flywheel which is awesome and then it actually does have the you know the whole 
uh, system in here as well that tells you your time, speed, distance, calories and everything. That's always a good additional extra, but I do like using my um, Apple Watch and fitness trackers for that. It's also got a little cup holder here so I can have my water. And honestly, like the quality of this, I was genuinely expecting this for the price. I was expecting it to be not as good as it is. So you've got proper foot cages and everything in here. Like if, if you guys are new to my channel, especially if you don't follow me over on Instagram, then you won't know that I am a very avid spinner. I spin at least three times a week at the gym. And now I've got this incredible bike. I can spin at my own leisure all the time at home in our little home gym. So you guys don't ever see this space. And trust me, like right about now, you don't really want to see it. Oh, excuse the projector. It is still a dumping ground, AKA. <sighs> to be fair, all of that's got to go to the tip. It's the boxes from all this stuff. This is my little setup for now. We've also got, because we're in the new build, we don't have a attic. So next year, our plan is to get that completely boarded out so we can store all of this, this crap up there, like suitcases and like winter clothes and things like that. So it's just right now, there's no space. So we have to put it in the garage. But this is an incredible space. So the plan is for it to be a home gym. So right now I've got my new spin bike in here and then we've got like a projector that goes onto the wall. Um, and that's where I'm gonna be doing my Les Mills spin class today. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. I'm so excited, I'm, getting really, I'm so excited. Basically today was one of those days I couldn't go to the gym this evening. I usually go, but um, life, busy, lots of work to do this evening, so I've had to cancel, but because of awesome and because of having this bike, I don't have to compromise on my workouts, and I can do it from the comfort of my own home. This thing also weighs a flipping ton. So I'm gonna crack on my spin class. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the room transformation and you have also enjoyed seeing the other little bits from Awesome. They have given me an exclusive 15% off discount code for you guys to use. It's on the screen, it's Bella15. Use this at checkout. This is only applicable on the UK site, so the .co.uk, but it's applicable across pretty much everything. This is only one time use per customer and the code is only valid until the 30th of September. So this is a ticking offer, so definitely head on over to the website, have a little look, see if there's anything that you're in need of for your home, take advantage of that one time use code of an extra 15% off literally anything on their website. And yes, I will leave you guys to it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one. Ciao.